Hello friends, welcome. In this video of image processing techniques through OpenCV in Python, we shall discuss about some arithmetic operations on images. Let us take the simple case of image addition and subtraction. Since we consider the images as matrices, we can easily add these images by summing up the values at the corresponding pixel positions. Use of the equation image 3 is equal to image 2 plus image 1 will sum up the pixels of the image 1 and image 2 at corresponding positions and place the result at the same position in image 3. The same is applicable for subtraction of images. Let us try this idea in Python. So we move on to the Python Anaconda Spider ID. We start by importing the CV2 library for reading images. I read my first image as img underscore 1 and I read my second image as img underscore 2. So let us have a look at the images that we are going to read. So the first image I'm going to read is single dot dot diff. This is the image which has got a single dot in white color in a black background. And the second image I'm going to read is two dots dot diff which has got two dots, two white dots in a black background. So my image 1 I'm going to read is cv2.im read of single dot dot diff. I'm using the second parameter as 0 since I'm not interested in the color value of the image. Now, to read the second image, I use cv2.imread again and read the image two dots, two dots dot diff. Again, the parameter two is zero. Now, to add these images, I can simply use image 3 is equal to image 1 plus image 2. So this is a command to add two images. So to display these images I use cv2.im show function cv2.im show. Let me first display the first image that is image 1 it is in the variable image underscore 1 and then I display the image 2 by again using cv2.im show The variable is img underscore 2 and to display the added image I'm going to use im show of let me give the window name as added image. and that is present in the variable img underscore 3. Now we use the cv2 dot weight key function and give the milliseconds that it has to wait and then use cv2 dot 
destroy all windows. Now we can save the file. I choose the same directory in which the image is single dot and two dots are present and name the python file as addition.py. Now we can run the program. So here you can see that the images are displayed. This was my first image which had a single dot at the center position. We'll display it once more because the milliseconds time was very low. I'll display it once more. So here I have the images. This is the first image. See, at the center position I have a single dot. In the second image I have two dots, top and bottom. And the added image has all the dots present in the first and second image. See the dots that are produced in the added image. So this is how you do the image addition. Now let us check what happens for image subtraction. I'm going to close all these images. So I have my image 3 being produced here. Now to subtract the image I am going to use a variable called img underscore 4 which is equal to img3 minus img2. That is we are going to subtract the images img3 and img2. img3 was the added image of image 1 and image 2. So we'll find out what we get as a result. So I have to also show or display the image that is produced after subtraction by using cv2.imshow and I name the window as subtracted image subtracted image the variable is img underscore 4 by running the program you will get the images see this was your image 1 this was your image 2 so when image 1 and image 2 were added you get this image this was your image 3 now in the second part of subtraction what I did was I subtracted image 2 from image 3 so this two dots were subtracted these two dots were subtracted and I only get this dot which is at the center position which is same as image 1. So this was a simple program to demonstrate how image addition and image subtraction works on. You can check the variable explorer and find out what are the values of image 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And what you get the values by adding image 1 and image 2 and all. So hope this is clear. Now you can check out these references. So in the next part, we shall be dealing with intensity transformations in images. Okay then, bye.